Um, what's good, Rami? How you doing? Doing good. Let's get into it. Um, what is the segment today, man? Well, so what, what's on the agenda? So we got a few topics. Um, I wanted to start with uh, a video that I seen pop up with uh, Nicki Minaj. Oh, wow. And I, I think it was an interesting video, and I think it's something that we should take a look at and uh, see what you two think about it. To Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I came to New York to get my clothes. Mm -hmm. He asked me to take him with me. How dare you bite the hand that feeds you? Mm -hmm. He had a job in Atlanta for one day. He came back home and said he doesn't want to do that job. I said, mm -hmm. don't worry. I had $1,000 in my bank, bank account. I said, don't worry. I'll figure out a way to get our before rent paid. Before album deals, before everything. This was before everything. We had no couch. We had no bed. We had Our mattress was on the, was on the uh, uh, carpet. Mm -hmm. Instead of going out there and working... He decided he didn't want to work. And I said, it's okay. I'll figure it out. I'll book a show. I know. Love. It. Yeah. Love. This is love So, so it, it. if anything, he should just be thanking God that he now has an opportunity to make uh, <clears throat> to make money and to make a way for himself. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have had this opportunity had I not pushed my pen. He told me to stop trying to pursue rap. He told me that I was living in a fantasy world and it would never happen. We hate Him, those. his we mother, hate and his stuff. sister called me a lazy bitch because I was pursuing my rap career. You obviously did the right thing. Absolutely. fucking lootly. You stupid. Um, quick question. I never seen this video. Shout out to Nicki Minaj. I mean, I say the greatest uh female rapper of all time. Um, and there's a lot of people who say that's debatable, but good lord, what she has done in her career is crazy. And um if I say something stupid. Do not attack me, because I'm not going at Nicki Minaj. And I'm, I'm going to tell you something, because I actually like her. I think she's a lyricist, seriously. Um, but is she talking about somebody she used to date or the guy yeah. she with right now? So as the um, caption showed that she was talking about Safari. So I guess she, she was with Safari before she blew up, and he told her she was wasting her time trying to do rap. It would never happen for her. Him and his mother called her lazy, and uh, and he was not even working. He, he looked like he would quit jobs, and he was the lazy one is what it sounds like, and she was trying to put food on the table by pursuing her rap career, and uh, I mean, I, it I mean, worked out for her. I mean, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say this as nice as I can. She played the nigga role, and you got to understand, or you could say it for the, the world out there, shout out to everybody, like and subscribe, follow us on every platform. Cash Money, Dream Podcast. We here, man. We ain't going nowhere. But um, I'm going to say this. She's playing a man's part, right? And he was the female. And you can only do that for so long. But, but look at his career. It worked out for him. He's that He's that uh, one-of-a-kind um, shit turd or chicken piece that uh, McDonald's makes, right? You ever seen a chicken nugget and you you let it sit for a year or two years or three years or four years? Ain't nobody got time for that. I mean, that's why McDonald's probably is one of the worst places to eat today because it can last, right? You can keep that that turd forever. But stop it. Get some help. But well, eventually, you get tired of it. She she basically mentioned too that she's the reason that he has a, a career. If it wasn't for her, that's what him I'm being saying. Connected with her, he that's what I'm saying. He would have still been running around quitting jobs. He, he might take this as a shot, but listen, there are some niggas who the female in relationships when it comes to women, and women get tired of it. Nick Minaj is building her career. She's 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 popping off. She's she's getting opportunities and shows. She's she's blowing up. She's playing that nigga role, right? She's she's successful. And then you got a a, a, a a nigga acting like a female at home. These the these are the ones we talking about. Emotional, damn it. Are simp's. These are the guys that we speak on that are simp's. What do you mean they simp's? These are the guys that will make a certain amount of money and and put you in a situation where you get knocked up, pregnant, and you're in a position where you lose everything once it don't work out. If it works out for you, cool. But it usually doesn't work out. They's the, they're, they're the ones talking and complaining to their mamas. They're usually mama boys. These, these are the guys that's telling their mama all your secrets, all your desires and problems. And then the mom is coaching him how to handle it. Beta bear. The mom is telling him, hey, you should, you should stop her. 
Or it's, 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 it's the same way for some females who are who have mothers that's trying to control men's career. I was in a relationship like I know what it's like when you're dating a very, very beautiful woman and, and her mother is, is, is like the mafia of the family. You can't make moves. She, so your girl is like, nope, nope, can't do that, can't do that. So you, you got to grab your balls and know how to control that situation. Sometimes men can't do it. And sometimes women have to play man roles, and it's very dangerous. So she, she's speaking on something that a lot of women are going through right now because a lot of women are boss babes. Cece, you a boss babe? I'd say so. Mm-hmm. And that's why you're single. Well, I like to see what... what she says uh, she don't care if she's single. I'm a boss babe, but like Let, I would still... I wouldn't outshine, I would, wouldn't outshine my man if that was I mean, you're obviously case. outshining your man if you're making more money in him and if but you want to be a boss babe. So if I'm single, I'm not outshining Boss babes anyone, right? fail when it comes to relationships. Nicki Minaj, you so are I'm a very single. talented person. You're one of the greatest that ever did it. But when you try to control and sit at the seat as if you're a king... You're gonna get a lot of servants and peasants. You're never, Nine. you're never gonna get the guy that's equal to you unless it's like finding a unicorn. You don't even date unicorns. Y'all women can't get them. Y'all hallucinate. Y'all daydream. Y'all read too many goddamn books talking about sex and life instead of looking at the real world. Ninety percent of the women can't even go up to a man and and and, and even say hi. When the last time you went up to a guy and said hi? Um, it's been a minute. I'm not gonna lie. This is when you say "got you, bitch." Okay. Well, you know what I mean? Honestly. This, so, this is this is that sound effect that when that comes in, and you know why that sound effect comes why in because the problem is, is gotcha, bitch. You women are delusional that you think a unicorn is going to approach you, or, or or a leprechaun with his little treasure, and he's going to change your life, mm-hmm. right? And the same for men. Men don't appreciate. The guy that she's talking about, men don't, most men don't operate like that. And if you are a guy that's sitting at home trying to slow your woman down from being successful and you're not successful, you're an idiot. Beta bear. But I, you're I, stupid. I, I'm not going to sit and date with a woman that ain't motivated as me. The problem is a lot of women dealing with, with losers. I think I think she ended up staying with him till she blew up. Of course up, and that's she did. She, career, she loved him. She loved him. Women I'd like are, to. I'd like to ask Cece. What do you think? Would you stay with a man that was just quitting jobs, not bringing anything to the table, and you were trying to become the breadwinner, and he was not only not providing, but he was also trying to stop you from providing. So you both just sit there homeless. I think is what his goal was. This is what men what would do. Would you Would you stay with that man like she a lot did? Of them, 70%. Would you have cut him off earlier? Definitely cut him off earlier because I mean, come on, you can't both just sit there and like. <laughs> Stop the cap. You're lying. It can't lying. be good. Y'all I'm lying. Are lying. Oh, okay. You wouldn't. You would have. No, no. She said she would cut him off earlier. I don't believe her, and Why? I don't believe ninety percent of women who say this shit. Because if this was so true, all you women would be in relationships, married, taken, boyfriends, husbands. Well, so, even, even you would even have a girlfriend. She's in a None of y'all, all y'all women are single and fucking around and losing in life. Every moment, every second, you're dying and your vagina is getting stretched by every moment okay. by dealing with man to man to man because no woman wants to commit because they are validated by a whole bunch of scrubs and losers. You was just at a doctor and the doctor tried to holler at you. These men are losers. Hey, Bruh. you seem very genuine. I don't give a it shit. Came across very supposed genuine. to be saving lives, not getting pussy. He Wait, was on a lunch break. He was, invited me upstairs for lunch. He was, invited you upstairs for lunch. Yeah. You are the biggest sip, and doctors are losers. Hey, Most of them. Not all of them. Man. Let me say this very well. Because you make $200,000 a year, and you mostly in debt most of your life, and then you sit there, and you have to manipulate and, and mess with the nurse and still screw her over. Nurses are one of the biggest cheaters. And the problem with nurses is, guess what? They're fucking the doctor. They're leaving their husbands committed five, six years for a doctor that don't even give a shit about them. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. Of course. You saved yourself. You try to take her to the doctor. Hold on. This is your your personal doctor that tried to, after you were finished with the visit, take you to the cafeteria? I I was in the hallway. Can we get his name, please? Do you guys want the story? I can give you a little. Yeah, let let her talk. I was just in the hallway waiting for my name to be called on the speaker or like at the desk. And I was looking for a water fountain because I don't have a water bottle in the machine. I swiped my card. It said no card. You can't use a card and I didn't have any cash. 
So I'm like, great, I can't find any water, anything to drink. And it was filled up with all the drinks. <laughs> so I'm looking for a uh, water fountain. Really? So I'm wandering down the, water, the hallway and I look and he's like, you look I, like basically you look lost, basically. And I'm like, I'm looking for a water fountain. Do you know is the only one at the ER? He's like, no, let me show you a closer one. So he's like, follow me. And we start walking. <laughs> I don't know. It was just how the hell the, it's all just that small you fo- on So you followed him time. to the cafeteria? No, to another closer water fountain. Okay. So he led me to a closer one. So I was desperate. like, only one I knew of was the ER one, which was like way out of the way. And then I didn't want to miss them calling my name, you know? And then after all that, he asked you out on a date? Well, I got to the water fountain. He goes, Well, I was going to go up to lunch. And he was like, um, If you want to. And I was like, Well, I have. <laughs> like, you are fake news. <laughs> that's how Nine. I went down. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I had to go like enjoy that whole life. Like, I don't know if that's one of the most boring stories I've ever seen. I heard a doctor say, "Hey, uh, I, you look lost." I, I, was a, a bitch. Hey, I'm just telling you all my me, story. This happened to me. If this is how it works out there, and I left. I'm glad that I'm not in this world in reality. Fuck, listen. Coronavirus. <sighs> Coronavirus. Hey, it these is what these it is. men out here are terrible. He um, did not come off as terrible. Let me that, just be totally and, until you until he takes like a very into, genuine it, listen. Person. Hey, listen here, ladies. Every man seems like he's not terrible. Who doesn't he's want He's a that, doctor. Though? He's a lawyer. He's a rapper. He's an athlete. He do not care. He's an entertainer. They all seem not dangerous until they get your treasure and run away. <laughs> Trust me. Okay, well, they're that's also all, all, that's all y'all are giving. Invited. Y'all not getting anything they're else but the body. Like that. That's all you're giving. What, what, the, the man's trying to feed you just to get the pussy. It's horrible. I'm I don't sorry. Think he didn't look that. He did not look that desperate. It didn't a look guy like that he makes two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. No, it didn't look debt. like it was hard for him to find anyone either. Hoping in the next fifteen years to get out of debt and to find a woman who's most likely going to take all his money anyway. Go all look at the his divorce money? rate. I'm not that greedy. Of Listen, person. you just said you will take money. having a little bit more. Don't play with me. We're not going to get on this show. You already know that I didn't say all greed of it. is evil, I didn't say all and most of it. women are evil I when it comes to relationships. I did not say all of it. Listen. I didn't say that. All these all, all these Big people difference. run around like leprechauns like they're going to get a pot of gold. Get the hell out of here. Yes, in a dream world. What is this? Okay. Listen here. Dissect that. End of the segment, we're going to get out of this. But let me tell you something. Nicki Minaj is a, is a legend. And it's unfortunately that she has to be in a nigga role. Trust me, she wants a man that's like Jay-Z or like Nas. She wants that. But it's hard to find. And it's very hard to date guys that have that power, like Diddy, that want to be single. Men will never give up their power as long as they have options. You're not going to tell me what I'm going to date or what I'm going to do if I got 15 girls waiting around for me. Especially in their 20s. Or in their in they 30s. I'm not interested in the women in their 40s and 50s. I'm looking at 20 and maybe 32. If she's older, she's going to have to do a lot for me. To be entertained. And these women be like, oh, no. I can't believe you said that. You stupid. Why are you saying that? Because, listen, at 35, 36, 37, depending, unless we have history, it's not really nothing you can do for me. So that's why I say women who are in their 30s, you're, you're, the wall's coming. You better wake up, man, shit. And it sucks because social media has opened the door for how miserable a lot of women are. So Stop it. Get some help. I would say to you, CC, if that doctor's real and he was a real person to talk to you, he's a unicorn and you better jump on that. But if it turns out just that he took your treasure and, and you sitting at home by yourself mad because another man uh, defeated you in Xbox, it's unfortunate. Ain't nobody got time for that. I know. I it rolls. hurts. I rolls. No, it's fine. It's, it's, fine. it's cool. Spice up my afternoon. It's good to be single, morning. right? Give no, me it five. is. Yeah. Single life for you. For maybe the next four or five years, maybe right away. Uh, maybe longer. Shit. It's okay. Like, Do you have a pet? A pet. Maybe you should go to Mexico. You should start with a fish. <laughs> <laughs> You're so random right now. A pet. <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe a cat. Maybe oh, no. Shit. A lot of women are buying cats right now. Definitely not I. Sorry. I mean, the women who buy dogs are the ones who kind of got a little bit more money. They like they like dressing them up, acting like they best little friends. Puppy, yes. You know what I mean? Huh. I know. I know a couple women that got dogs and they treat them better than men. That's probably me. Oh, yeah. Yep. The wall is here. Enjoy. It's come to that time. It's okay. <laughs> Enjoy the wall. I will. 
All right. I encourage all men to run. <laughs> What's up, man? Next Moving segment. on. <laughs> Thank you for watching the Cash Money Dreams podcast. Like and subscribe. Follow us on every platform. Stay tuned. Every week we drop in a new episode. It's your boy Cash, man.